We were in the Midlands when I got the word that my mother had had a heart attack in a village about 20 miles from Birmingham. Very picturesque place, very quiet, very beautiful. And we were spending a couple of days resting there. Anyhow, when we got the news, Teddy drove me down south. Gracie wanted to come with me and couldn't understand why I wouldn't take her. But she used her incomprehension to fuel her loyalty and sent me off with a polite smile. It was the first time I'd been home in 20 years. My father had retired and was living in a housing estate just outside London. How dare you? Mum, I... Mum, you can't bear for me to have any happiness outside of this house, can you? He's not good for you. No one ever is, are they, Andrew? Dad was. Your dad's gone. I'm the one still here. I'm the one putting up with your shit day in, day out. If I'm such a burden, why don't you just leave? Yeah. And how soon do you think it'll be before a slice of beetroot sets you off in one of your little episodes? Why don't you just go up to your secret little room and ring Trevor, you old slag? You've had the run of this house since the day that you were born. And now you begrudge me the one bit of solace I have. I always knew you were different, Andrew. I never thought you were cruel. The network is years ahead of its time, has massive scalability and resilience, ensuring you low cost and secure farmer's market, brie. But we all care about where we live. These things unite us all. Trust yourself. Although at the time you think you haven't a clue what's going on, you probably have. Just remember that actually, it isn't actually all about you and that you are okay as a parent still. And just keep talking. That is really fundamental. That's going to have to come off. <laughs> We're not making it up, if that's what you mean. No, no, no. I'm not saying you're making it up. I'm just saying it's something that's new to me. OK. The notes say, Andrew has an extreme phobia of the... Uh, we don't say the word. <laughs>